Okay, good evening. Good evening. Please be seated. I'm Carol Kenner, and I have the honor of being the Dean of the School of Nursing, Health, and Exercise Science. Why are we here tonight? Nobody's talking back to me? Come on, this is an exciting time. We're very pleased to be with you, to honor you tonight, and to have your family and significant others here to celebrate the next step in your journey towards being nurses. And some of us are aging as we speak, so we're very glad to see a new generation coming forward. But I remember a lot of years ago how important this rite of passage is as you are beginning the journey towards your first clinical, real clinical experience. And we want to celebrate with you with the white coat ceremony. So congratulations. This is your first congratulations of the evening. And welcome to the family and friends that are supporting the students and to the faculty and staff because they couldn't be here without. And we're so honored to have the president of the College of New Jersey, President Gittenstein, with us. This is her last year, the last hurrah, as she has decided to retire. Of course, you may fail retirement. Half of the faculty and I, I'm sure, will fi fail retirement. But we do wish you well, and we thank you for joining us on this special occasion. President. Thank you so very much. Good evening. Uh, I am Barbara Gittenstein, President of the College of New Jersey, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the third annual Department of Nursing White Coat Ceremony. I want to thank the students for choosing TCNJ's School of Nursing Health and Exercise Science and the Department of Nursing for their education. As you and your families know, the department is known for its excellence. Indeed, the department has most recently achieved a national recognition as a center of excellence in nursing education from the National League for Nursing, a distinction only shared by 40 nations, 40 institutions nationwide. It is my pleasure as well to acknowledge School of Nursing Health and Exercise Science Dean, Dr. Carol Kenner, and the extraordinary Department of Nursing faculty and staff whose leadership and dedication ensure that our students are well prepared for the challenges and opportunities in the field of nursing. As the dean said, the students would not be succeeding as they are without this kind of extraordinary leadership. The white coat ceremony represents the formal welcome into the nursing profession, a rite of passage for sophomore students as they start their clinical rotations. It marks the moment when a student most obviously begins his or her transition into becoming a professional nurse. The white coat ceremony brings back part of the tradition of welcoming a new generation into the profession of nursing and reminds them of the tremendous responsibilities, honor, and commitment to humanistic, patient-centered care. This evening, we are proud to welcome 69 students into the nursing profession. Students, on behalf of the TCNJ community, I wish you much success as you continue your journey into the nursing profession. Parents and families, I congratulate you on the success of your student thus far and know that your support and guidance will continue to contribute to your students' achievements. Faculty and academic administration, I thank you for all you do to help these extraordinary students achieve their success. Thank you very much. At this time, I would like to introduce our provost, Dr. Jacqueline Taylor. Good evening. I'm delighted to be here to share this special moment with you. I'm Jackie Taylor. I'm the provost, and that means I have responsibility for the academic portion of the institution, which is a pretty wonderful portion here at TCNJ. I'm, I'm here on behalf of the college um, to extend 
uh, the college's congratulations to you and say how extraordinarily proud we are to claim our outstanding nursing program with its committed and dedicated faculty and staff and super smart, super talented, caring and professional nursing students. So you already knew you were part of a special group of uh, students when you enrolled in TCNJ because our admissions to the School of Nursing program are extremely, extremely selective. And now um, you are at a very important moment in your progress towards becoming a full-on professional. Um, we're really happy to be here to celebrate with you and we're proud of the solid grounding in broad liberal learning that TCNJ provides to all of its students. But we're also proud of the professional skill and dedication that our faculty and staff inculcate in our students. Students, this is the thrilling moment when you stand in that liminal space between student and professional. You truly are on a threshold. You're no longer only students. Tonight you step forward in a ceremony that marks the beginning of the clinical rotations that will transform you into full-on nurses. You have chosen to be part of a truly noble profession, one dedicated to caring for others and promoting health and wellness. I congratulate you on your entrance into the profession of nursing and want you to know that the entire college celebrates with you tonight as you lay further claim to your chosen path. And I would also note that not only the college celebrates with you tonight, but it looks to me like a whole lot of family and friends celebrate with you tonight too and share in this accomplishment. So we're very pleased to be able to congratulate you and witness this important moment in your life. This time, it's my honor to introduce one of your peers, Lauren O'Keefe, who's the president of our Student Nurses Association. Hello, good evening. My name is Lauren O'Keefe. I'm a senior nursing major and the president of the Student Nurses Association here at TCNJ. Um, and I would like to share some things that I've learned here at my time at TCNJ about nursing and the value that this white coat represents. The most important piece of advice I can offer to you sophomores um, as a fellow nursing student is to always remember that first and foremost, you're caring for a person and not a patient. When you first enter clinicals, it will be easy to be consumed um, by tasks, such as taking vitals, head to toe assessments, and performing various other skills. Um, that is natural and inevitable and eventually you will grow past that to approach your patient in a more holistic way. Always treat your patients with dignity, respect, love, and kindness, kindness, especially when it gets hard, because you never know how your kindness and care can impact the person lying in that hospital bed. Never underestimate the value and beauty of serving others with a joyful heart. And trust me when I say that you will build confidence you will be able to perform skills and other things that may seem nearly impossible at the time. For instance, you all passed biochem to get here. See what I mean? <laughs> um, you're smarter than you think. Have grace for yourself knowing that these things take time and it's all part of the process. Rome wasn't built in a day. Starting next semester, when you don your white coat and scrubs, you're going to really start to dip into that special type of person that it takes to be a nurse that you hear people talk about. You're going to find yourself face to face with people who you might not have anything more in common with other than the fact that you are there to care for them and they need caring for. You will find that there are so many opportunities for making an impact on another person's life, especially when you're in nursing school, when you only have one or two patients at a time. Take the extra five minutes, pull up a chair, listen to the patient, and talk to the family members. It will make a world of difference not only for them, but also for you, and I promise that will be worth it. From what I've learned so far, those moments are what makes all of the hours studying, stressing, laughing, and sometimes crying worth, worth it. Uh, the obstacles nursing school will throw at you will only stop you if, if you let them. You're all in this together. Stick by each other and lift one another up. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Celebrate the victories and mourn in the losses together. 
Those are the moments that will mold you into the future nurse you are going to be. I want to wish you the best of luck in your first clinical experience, and I hope it's memorable and helps you on your path to becoming a nurse. I want to leave you with this. Promise me you'll always remember that you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. And I hope that your white coat will serve to remind you of these truths. Now I'd like to invite up Dr. Zubedi for the presentation of students. Thank you. Okay, so I am going to attempt to call everyone's name the way I have learned it. Dr. Lindbergh and Dr. Capelli are going to place the coats over on top of you, so you're going to bring it up on your shoulder. And we're going to start <laughs> that side. <laughs> Jamie Allen, you're going to be first, and we're going to go that way. Victoria Aversano. Oops. Jenna Atzer. Lauren Bakshi. Kara Barone. Jasper Bessa. Don't tell me about Bethlehem Bucurezion. Rebecca Bosey. Jane Brady. Nicole Bullowin. Danielle Campbell. Tara Cartier. Brian Carey. Giselle Castro. Caitlin Cawley. Kelsey Caverly. Angela Chung. Monica Chodorowski. Anastasia Sintron. Jenna Cooper. Alexandra Corrington. Nisani Davis Halty. Lainey Day. Alyssa Decataldo. Danielle Donato. Casey Donahue. Emma Diba. Alexandria Fitzpatrick. Caitlin Gallagher. Juliana Gallo. Emmy, Emily Hatsiayanis. I messed up the Emily. Anna Herrera Rivera. 
Sharday Harrington. Allison Horman. Rachel Janes. Megan Jew. Julia Kasparian. Abby Kelly. Megan Kelleher. Kelly Knight. Helene Lewis. Shannon Lynn. Anastasia Maltsev. Gianna Manino. Giselle Maragoda. Julia Marasio. Curry McSweeney. Emma Meyer. Emily Miller. Jonathan Ortiz. Daniela Pacheco. Valerie Posel. Julia Pontebi. Zach Breiser. Luis Rivera. Lorraine Roca. Alyssa Ryan. <laughs> Bethany Ryan. Maria Saya. Emily Sayed. Nicole Schweihart. Allison Seward. Amanda Summers. Liam Sweeney. Julia Vanzini. Sarah Woodill. Jaya Worley. White coats are on, name tags are on. One more thing to do before we celebrate and close. Would the students please rise? Are you ready for your oath? This is really an important step that reminds us of the commitment that nurses make to the profession, to the families that we serve. 
and to the patients that trust us with their lives. So this is a very serious step, but also a very exciting step. You ready? Okay. With this oath, I humbly commit myself to the responsibilities and privileges of a nurse in training and to the obligations of the nursing profession. I pledge that my patient will always be my foremost consideration. I am grateful to my patients who will serve as my teachers. I will endeavor to be worthy of their trust through competence, compassion, and honesty. I will strive to empathize with my patients and will honor their unique identities and circumstances. I will safeguard their confidences, respect their autonomy, and serve as their advocate. I will educate and empower them to be guardians of their own well-being. I commit to be held accountable as a servant to society. I will strive to earn the trust of my community, both local and global. I will work to increase the accessibility and quality of health care for all. I dedicate myself to a lifetime of learning, teaching, applying, and advancing the art and science of nursing. I will approach my profession with integrity and humility and will foster a collaborative environment respectful of my colleagues. I will carry out my nursing responsibilities in a manner consistent with quality in nursing care and the ethical obligations of the profession as outlined in the ANA Code of Ethics for Nurses. I pledge to care for myself so that I may best care for others. I will act within my capabilities Recognize my, limitations, recognize my limitations, and pursue excellence as a nurse. And pursue excellence as a nurse. May, I hold fast to the enthusiasm, May I hold fast to the enthusiasm and optimism, and optimism with, which I take this pledge. with which I take this pledge. Congratulations. Please be seated. At this time, I would like Dr. Sharon Byrne, who is the chair of the nursing department, to come forward and do our closing. So I'm Dr. Sharon Byrne, I am the chair of the nursing department and I'd like to just speak with you for a few minutes because I know I am the barrier between you leaving here and joining your family and um, 
friends for a little celebration. Um, but on behalf of the faculty that is here tonight, as well as those that are in the classroom tonight teaching and those that are off campus attending a conference, I just want to um, wish you the best of luck with the, new, the next two and a half years of your education and share a couple thoughts with you. So, this weekend, I was actually reading for pleasure, something you probably haven't felt that you've been able to do for a while, but you will get to that point. Um, and it was not the People magazine I was looking at, but it was a self-help book. Um, a self-help book that's titled, What Color Is Your Brain? And it was a self-help book um, that was actually published by a nurse in conjunction with another healthcare professional. And it offered quizzes and information about how one can recognize both their professional and personal strengths and appreciate diversity in others. And I came across in one of the chapters four core principles and when I read them I immediately thought this is what I kind of want to share with the sophomore students at the white coat ceremony. And you will see that there's a similarity between these four principles um, in what Lauren, the president of SNA said and also the pledge that you just read. So just bear with me for a couple minutes. So the first principle is commitment. And I just want to share that commitment both to your studies and the profession as you go through school here is going to help connect you with your patients as well as their families and faculty and staff. The second principle was observation. And I really challenge you to be dutiful in your observations because you need to practice your assessment skills, but also just general observation. When you're not caring for someone, when you're in that clinical area, watch what goes on around you between patients, physicians, nurses, families, and any other of the medical um, healthcare staff that's there, because you're going to pick up and learn some valuable lessons from that. The third principle was approachability. And being approachable is a key to gathering information and establishing relationships, not only among your peers, but with your patients and their families. Your body language and your demeanor when you get into the clinical area is going to have a great impact on how you are received and perceived by others. And the last principle is to build trust. Listen to the concerns of your patients and their families and they will respond to you in a way that you will get such gratitude, but such a great warm feeling inside. So as I look at you in your lab coats, I have to say that I still practice every Tuesday. And every Tuesday when I leave my house with my scrubs and get to my practice site and put on my lab coat and go out to meet the patients and the families that I are taking care of, I do it with pride. And I hope every time that you put on your coat, you remember this night and celebrate your journey into our profession. So with that said, I'd like, first of all, for you to give a hand to your family members that are here tonight to support you. <laughs> And lastly, I'd like all our family members and faculty to once again just give a hand to our sophomore students. Thank you.
can't celebrate enough, right? So we do celebrate with you. This ends our formal program. We are very grateful for the family and friends that have joined us and also for faculty, staff, President Gittenstein, Provost Taylor, and joining in this celebration. So go enjoy yourselves and good night. Why not?